so we today discuss uh, topics from the fourth module uh, i have already posted the slides and the recordings of the previous modules okay in lms uh, you can follow those things and uh, if you have any doubts or any other points to be covered let me know okay so anemometers so in module 4 we will be discussing about anemometers anemometers as you know uh, they are instruments which are used to find the velocity of uh, fluid flow and <coughs> even it can give direction also okay and uh, this module has uh, two parts so uh, one which discusses anemometers uh, we will discuss mechanical anemometers then hot wire anemometers and then laser doppler anemometer and the second part has uh, flow meters say um, this is supposed to come in the third module the last second part of this fourth module was supposed to come in the third module that's my failing i don't know uh, because the module became too bulky they shifted it to the fourth module probably it's something like that so um, anemometers are used to measure the air and gas flow or well, say simply say this is a fluid flow so this is a smoke stack or what is a industrial stack industrial stack this is an industrial stack and uh, uh, these anemometers could be used to find out or uh, measure the velocity of the gases okay um, then in, in heating ventilation and air conditioning systems you can use them to detect the flow you can couple them with pitot tubes pitot tubes yeah pitot tubes plus a hot wire anemometer combination comes okay uh, both can be used pitot tube uh, if you recollect they are not used in aircrafts alone um, they could be used in hvac systems as well okay then uh, i think there was an assignment question then um, Anemometer designs, they include pitot type of anemometers, mechanical type of anemometers, which we will discuss, then thermal Doppler. So, thermal hot wire anemometers, and the Doppler type it uses the Doppler effect, okay, to detect uh, this um, velocity profile. And they are used mostly in the weather applications, the weather applications, okay environmental applications so these are the different types of mechanical anemometers and as well as uh, you'll find the doppler type of anim uh, doppler type of um, or ultrasonic type of anemometer you have a vein type handled vein type of anemometer which is used in indoor applications usually it looks more or less like a multimeter attachment with a fan it's not a fan as such which you get from the chinese stores this is basically to uh, this is shown against the um, fluid flow whose velocity has to be measured and that is uh, read out you can have a hall effect sensor arrangement to convert it into a current okay then this is a hot wire anemometer uh, at the tip of this probe you will have a wire which is heated by this mechanism and the rate of cooling by this uh, fluid flow is correlated to the um, is correlated to the velocity of the fluid then this is a vein type of anemometer where you have uh, a propeller type or a propeller type which rotates and at the base of this you will have some arrangement which picks up this is also a magnet magnetic the, ba the basic principle of a DC motor like that, okay. AC motor, right? Uh, AC generator, like that. so. You will um, um, uh, arrangement is there to correlate the number of rotations to the voltage produced. It will also indicate the direction. Also, direction of flow is also indicated. Then you have a cup type of anemometer here. Uh, sitting in this uh, IoT lab, I can see the uh, what do you say weather station on top of the civil engineering building in our college. Okay, this they are ha they have a weather station there, top of the civil engineering department, and uh, 
it records records the and also displays the values on the how do you say displays their uh, near their department heads room civil department the choice room and this is a pitot tube type of anemometer where you have a static pressure and dynamic pressure measured and uh, this is correlated this is measured and uh, there is a formula le, 2d into 2 into difference of uh, root of square root of uh, pressure difference delta p so uh, that is a pitot type of um, anemometer so uh, this is uh, a recollection i think we, we uh, i remember having talked about those things in brief this are a mechanical vein type of anemometers which we mentioned that is uh, where your it's a handle type uh, there is also something which could be put in ducts uh, and uh, the other side is showing a dial which shows the readout this looks more or less like an exhaust fan but it is powered by the uh, uh, the fluid flow that is air flow through this duct where it is placed so uh, and you could have a remote readout uh, you could have converted to a electrical readout by uh, putting a magnetic or capacitive sensing sensors there that that could change uh, that could produce a proportional uh, signal signal proportional to the velocity and uh, these find use in uh, various uh, applications like this say um, then the mechanical cup type anemometers which you are already familiar uh, say this rotates and this particular anemometer is comes from your um, this is available on the net also it's quite pricey it's costly so um, they will measure only the uh, horizontal direction uh, when the air flows in the horizontal direction that will be measured and uh, and it is proportional to the wind speed so you can have a measurement whether number of revolutions per minute or per hour uh, depend depending upon that so you will be uh, producing a voltage equivalent to this now uh, these are two options so that is uh, I, either you could use this uh, the average wind speed could be found out from this uh, technique or else it drives a dc tachometer which generates an output voltage which is proportional to the wind speed one uh, interesting thing which i came across while uh, reading for this was uh, using um, making a homemade anemometer uh, from a bldc fan so your cpu fan brushless dc motor okay and um, you could uh, it's an arduino uh, based project and also there is a uh, so most of these uh, things they have four wires uh, some of them have three wires third wire is a tachometer output actually there is a hall effect sensor there inside this chamber which will be measuring but uh, the thing is that this won't be uh, uh, rotating as freely as this one this uh, uh, cup type of anemometer because always there is it is uh, may, it is supposed to work as a fan and you have to supply an excitation to this so uh, there is a hack which is given uh, uh, which allows you to remove some components from this make it work bit more freely this is a rough thing that could be there i think we saw um, um, what do you say venturi meter made of uh, from a base project from a cpu fan like thing the venturi impeller type same thing um, same thing this also has a dc tachometer at this base dc tachometer at this base so here it will point in the direction of the uh, wind also that is also there uh, so uh, this reminds me of the childhood days the fan which we which we get in the seashore when you go there no we get colorful fans which rotate and you run around with that fan okay so um, uh, this uh, has some parameters uh, which is called as the distance constant 
and it is expressed in feet okay so usually the six feet six feet so uh, six feet of air has to pass through the meter because the uh, before the velocity response uh, changes by 63 percent that is it's just like your um, capacitor curve charging curve like that same manner so uh, expression feet uh, uh, expression lengths of wind that has to pass through the meter before the velocity sensor response amounts to 63 percent of a step change in velocity so when there is an increase in velocity uh, say from uh, 50 to 55 uh, say uh, if uh, six feet of air passes through this there will be uh, that is uh, the rise will be at least 63 percent it is what it is okay then the hot wire animator this we'll discuss in a bit detail uh, the other other uh, thermal it comes under thermal anemometers so um basically the idea is uh, is the class with me yes i see 52 students okay so uh, basically uh, there is uh, a wire which is heated uh, so the tip has been showed magnified tip of this arrangement the tip of this arrangement uh, tip of this is shown magnified here where you have a wire wire contact which is there and you will have a heater circuit will heat this thing heat this thing and uh, there will also be a thermocouple to measure the temperature there is also a reference junction there okay so and there is also a protection arrangement this is a very fragile piece of uh, thing uh, some of them will be having a protection some will be exposed directly so um uh, so this is a hot wire anemometer this is the arrangement this is magnified view of the anemometer tip so you'll insert this probe into the duct or the tube uh, in which you have to measure the uh, velocity so here uh, this rate of heat dissipation is correlated to the uh, decrease in temperature so as this fluid flows through this uh, you are going to uh, dis uh, the fluid is going to cool this wire heated wire so and that will cause a change in resistance and uh, so that resistance changes if you just uh, couple it to a Wheatstone spray arrangement you can get a proportional voltage and we'll see that there is a constant current arrangement for this uh, so uh, we'll see so there are two circuits two ways to do this that is what we'll discuss again so uh, this is the summary uh, there are two ways one is uh, measuring for measuring the fluid flow measuring the velocity you could uh, keep the resist uh, measure the resistance keeping the current constant or by measuring the current keeping the temperature constant resistance can be kept constant so um, we'll see both the arrangements uh, and the rough schematic of the arrangements for both these purposes uh, so um, the resistance change is the basic thing so what material which we used is a platinum usually platinum is used the wire uses platinum and the diameter is it's extremely thin uh, piece of wire so the smaller diameter means larger resistance so this is the wire and this is the arrangement so which is uh, holding this wire a clamp like arrangement you say fork type support it's called as a fork type support yeah it looks more or less like a fork if you have this fork the uh, fork which you used to eat food if i have one more thing it will be really a fork okay two more things okay so um uh, so uh, a fork type arrangement is there for a support and the wire is placed in between, in between this and there will be additionally heat ring, heating elements the which we saw earlier 
So, the smaller diameter means R is equal to rho into L by A, cross sectional area is less, so resistance is going to increase. But uh, the problem is that it will be very delicate. So, um, usually the thumb rule is that the wire length is half of the pipe diameter and it is placed within this uh, pipe whose uh, flow has to be measured and it is perpendicular to the direction of fluid flow. Right. So, this is a typical mounting of a hot wire type of anemometer uh, inside a, um, a pipe in which you are going to measure this fluid velocity. So, here the expressions, expressions so I square R loss, I square R loss and I am going to measure it. Now, I square R loss is proportional to a constant K, a conversion factor then the temperature difference between the wire and the fluid ok delta t you can say k into delta t into h alpha that is what so h is a film a coefficient of heat transfer and alpha is this is alpha this is not a this is alpha alpha is the heat transfer area heat transfer area so and again this uh, filling coefficient of heat transfer uh, is uh, function of flow velocity v, the density of the fluid and the thermal conductivity and specific heat of the fluid. So, a relation exists like that, relation exists for flow velocity. So, that is a relation exists for film coefficient. Uh, it depends on the thermal conductivity uh, zeta, zeta is a parameter which involves the other parameters ok and uh, the flow velocity and zeta, zeta is a function of density and uh, specific heat of the fluid Cv, square root n, square relationship on existing in the formula. So, um, that is a, an empirical relation which relates this parameter, this is a oversimplification of the thing. So, this is what uh, the simplest explanation of uh, the change in resistance relating the change in uh, resistance to this current I square R loss. So, uh, in as we mentioned earlier there could be two types, two types of uh, uh, measurement techniques by measuring the resistance keeping the current constant or by measuring the current keeping the temperature constant ok. So, there are two uh, ways, two ways to do this. So, um, when a constant current type of hot wire anemometer, a buried circuit like this can be used. Here uh, you have a source which is used for heating and uh, you have a resistance in series with this source. This is not the internal resistance, you will adjust this resistance so as to maintain the current constant ok. And, uh, uh, you will uh, have this values R1, R2 and R3 almost in the same range as that of Rw ok. So, this is at rest condition. So, um, this particular, so when there is a change in resistance you are going to measure uh, the uh, a voltage across this. So, this is used for uh, um, flows do, which do not fluctuate very much. Um, Whereas, uh, flows which fluctuate very much, you will use a constant temperature type of circuit, constant temperature type of circuit. So, here the problem with this circuit is that uh, your resistance, this value is low, quite low. So, the current has to be kept large and uh, when there is a sudden drop in fluid uh, velocity, velocity when it drops, uh, so, it might cause a large current to flow through this and this will burn off, this will burn off. So, um, heat loss is reduced, that is what. Uh, uh, just imagine you are, turn, uh, you, are incre you, are put, you have a hot cup of tea, you are putting it under a, a ceiling fan which is running. Say it is you are running in uh, the first speed, 
speed 1. When increase the speed, the rate of cooling will increase. That's naturally. Other factors are there, but still uh, that seems. So, your flow velocity when it is reduced very much, you are going to all on a sudden your uh, heat losses uh, from the wire is going to decrease. So, that is uh, going to uh, that may burn out this thing, burn out the wire. That is constant current type in a constant temperature type of hot wire animator where you keep RW as constant you have a closed loop arrangement like this you will come across several uh, such circuits if you uh, check this is a circuit which is from Patrabis, Patrabis, Patrabis text. So here um, you have a closed loop system so you for a particular you are keeping the temperature constant okay and uh, R1 is made equal to R1 is made equal to R2 and R3 and it is adjusted R3 is adjusted so as to become equal to RW. So your, your basic uh, bridge balance expression is valid here and then um, uh, when there is a flow so this is introduced into the pipe okay so this is introduced into the pipe through which the flow this is introduced into the pipe through which you have the flow which has the flow okay so this is a direction of flow and uh, the rw changes delta rw and uh, the bridge output is amplified by this dc amplifier and it is given as a supply for the bridge okay and you will record the voltage drop across this rs so the bridge current that flows through this amplified bridge current that flows through this resistance load resistance rs will give an indication of the flow okay so this is or you uh, so or you could instead of rs instead of voltage drop you can use a, a voltage to current converter can be used uh, so we uh, so converter uh, can be used to get a measure of this thing so um, so this is uh, all for today we will pick up from uh, laser um, not laser doppler anemometers the next day and uh, um, that's it so 